Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to film a get ready with me. Um, I'm just running a few errands today so I thought I'd do a get ready with me to run errands. Really exciting. Um, yeah, I'm finished uni now. I am at home. So I'm going to film more. Yeah, I'm on summer, my like summer holidays now, which is cool. And yeah, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. That was a really waffly intro, but here I am. Okay, let's jump into the video. <laughs> Fuck, I'm weird. I'm going to start by putting a face mask on. I'm going to use this Mario Badescu rose hip mask because, I don't know if you can see, but I have two pimples and I don't know why. For me, that's really strange. I'm pretty, I'm very lucky. I have very good skin and I barely ever get pimples and then I come home and I've got two. I don't know what's going on. So yeah, I'm going to put this mask on. To start with, I'm going to try and not spill it all over my bed because I'm currently sitting on my bed. I also just realised I don't have a mirror, so I'm going to have to use the viewfinder. Sorry. But I really like this mask, it's really hydrating. And just like, makes my skin feel really nice. My friend actually bought it for me for my birthday. What a legend. Wow, I look so cute. So I'm just going to leave that for 20 minutes. I feel like I'm, I'm not actually going to need to wait 20 minutes because it dries really quickly. But yeah, I'll just be here waiting for my face mask to dry. Okay, it definitely hasn't been 20 minutes. It's probably been like 10 minutes, but I'm going to go wash this off now. Okay, now that I've put their face mask on and my skin's feeling lovely and fresh, I'm going to go in with my simple kind of skin moisturizer hydrating light moisturizer there we go and then I'm also gonna take this Isano rose hip eye cream and put that under my eyes okay now for my actual makeup so I'm gonna go on with my Maybelline matte and poreless foundation in 120 this may be slightly too dark for me, I'm not really too sure. Because I've stopped fake tanning for a little while to just give my skin a break. And I'm not sure if this is going to match me. I'm not going to take too much. I've only... I'm not going to take too much. I've only got a little bit on my hand because I don't really want lots of lots of coverage like I just want a little bit of coverage I'm taking my Real Techniques buffing brush is that what it's called? yes okay and then I'm going to go on with my LA Pro Conceal concealer in natural I really need some more of this like it's getting ridiculous a little bit of that there, down the nose, on the chin, on the forehead. And I'm just going to use the same brush because it's easy and it's quick. Well, yes. So, I'm going to just talk while I do this because I feel like just what you do and get ready with this and that's what I like watching I like watching other people talk and seeing what their thoughts and stuff are I'm just taking the Maybelline Fit Me powder in 130 yeah so this morning I was watching a YouTube video like I do every morning by Alfie Days not I 
he's just someone that I watch every day because he uploads daily vlogs and I don't know, I find it quite interesting to watch. But he was talking about how he went to a Harry Styles concert and Harry Styles was just so like, it was such an amazing atmosphere because Harry Styles was just like, oh, I want you guys to all just be yourselves, do whatever you want to do, like dance if you want to dance, just this is a place where you can be 100% yourself. So, which was, that was cool. And then Alfie Days was talking about how he feels like he's got such a power, like, not a powerful, but he can reach so many people because like he gets like a million views on each video. And he was talking about how like he feels like already, yes, he does try and create like this positive image through his videos and have this positive vibe how people should just always be themselves and having a positive impact on his audience. By the way, I'm taking the Colourpop um, bagging brunette eyebrow pencil. And it made me thought, th it made me thought, it made me think about there's so many YouTubers out there that have so many like massive followings and literally reach millions of people but they have no kind of message behind their videos like it's all just for entertainment and I feel like if I was big on YouTube or big on Instagram or had like a platform behind me all I'd want to do was like make positive videos not positive videos, but like make videos that had a message behind them and I try in every video to make, even if it's just making one person feel better about themselves, it's worth it. Like why don't these people with all these massive followings try to do amazing things and give back to charities and I don't know. <laughs> like ch try and change change the world in a sense not just like creating videos for entertainment although like a lot of people there are a lot of people out there don't get me wrong I'm not just rubbishing all big youtubers but there are so, like so many people out there that do do that and do use their platform for good and stuff like that but there's also so many out there that don't like they just don't use what they've got and a beneficial way to the rest of the world. Wow, that was a massive run. And that's something a lot of people don't like Alfie Days because they think he throws around his money and just shows off that he's a big name. Wow, this is a really good camera frame. My back's getting sore. Um, but he does have, like, he does always feature charities in his vlogs and stuff like that and he's always seems to be doing good things so gotta give him that so yeah I thought today that's not what I want I'd try and make a difference to the 50 people that view my videos <laughs> but I feel like you know just be you it takes I know this because for years I wanted to start a YouTube channel but I was terrified I was like no I can't do that everyone's gonna think I'm so fucking weird which they probably do anyway but now I'm just like you know what I don't really care it's something I want to do it's fun so that's what I'm not really making any sense here but that's what I'm challenging anyone watching this video to do is if there's something that you really want to do by the way I'm using Gimme Brow in three in the shade three there's something that you really want to do and you know, you've never had the balls to do it because you think people are going to judge you or you never have felt like you can fully be yourself because you feel like people are going to judge you. Just try be yourself, even if it's just for a day. Just try and be 100% yourself and not care what other people think about you and just do things for yourself, not for other people. And that's my positive influence to the world today. Be you. Even if you feel like you can't be. You should always try to just be yourself. And the people that truly love you will sta stand by you and will still appreciate you and still want to be your friend and 
stuff like that. And it'll really, that's something that I've noticed is it'll really show who your true friends are and who your true friends, wait what? It'll really show who your true friends are and who just isn't really that supportive and that good a friend. Um, I am using Laguna by Nars, by the way, for my bronzer. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling now. That's my chit chat done for the day. I'm now going to take the Benefit Rocketeer blush. This smells so nice. I don't know how they make makeup products smell so good. And I'm going to take this um, highlighter from the Kali Bible palette. The only one that I ever use. Because it's great. And it's cheap. And I just never really buy highlighter, which seems really strange because I love highlight highlighter. There we go. And then I'm just going to take, I'm just going to take this brush. And I'm going to go back into my Laguna. And I'm just going to run that through my crease. I love this trick of putting bronzer through your crease. I feel like it really just ties all the like makeup on your face together. When your bronzer and your eyeshadow like ties them. And then lastly, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and put some mascara on. So I'm going to use this Essence Mascara, it's like the False Lashes Mascara, it was literally $6, $6, 6 New Zealand dollars as well, which is probably like 4 American dollars and 3 pounds, and it's really good. For now it just makes me never want to buy a high-end mascara ever again when I know that I can get a good one for six dollars. Um, I'm actually going to put like a red lip on or something. I'm going to put this Colourpop lipstick on called Chi Chi and it's like an orangey red. Just because I feel like if you put a bold lip on it really it makes you look like you've got your shit together. That is a very badly applied bold lip. I'm pretty sure I've done a makeup look quite similar to this not that long ago. Possibly on the exact same background as this. But, oh well. So, let's zoom right in on my face. This is my makeup look, this is my face, this is what I look like. Cool. Alrighty. Hope you enjoyed this really chit chatty 18 minute long video that I'm gonna have to edit down to make it less. <sighs> um, yeah I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already by the way because you should because I'm great and I'm a little bit weird and I deserve that support for being a little bit weird. <laughs> Alright bye guys!